This video is an introduction to the Minimus 45, a 3D printable micro FPV frame with pusher prop setup that I have designed for the community. I consider this, once ready to fly, the smallest race drone available yet. Hello fellow pilots and micro FPV enthusiasts. This is my first video where I will be actually talking myself. My video editing skills are pretty modest and everything is recorded with a smartphone, but I think it will bring my message across. Those people who are following me on my Foam Drones Facebook page and Instagram will already know that I have been working on a new, very little toy, which is to be 3D printed. In this video I will tell you all about it. Micro FPV drones have been going through some huge technological improvements since Jesse Perkins started this tiny Woo project and the world came to know about how much fun it can be. Improved programmable mainboards came on the market, brushed motors became faster and faster, and the first steps to user-friendly brushless setups have already been set. I also did a little part by designing a durable EPP foam frame called a baby turtle, which is still available at tinywoop.com. One thing never changed though. We are almost 2019. Why are tiny whoops still so big? Can't they get any smaller? With the current propeller and mainboard size and the way the layout of these frames are, the answer is no. If you make a tiny whoop frame smaller, the propellers will partially move over the mainboard. This prevents the propeller to work at its full potential, since a part of the air that is thrusted out will hit the mainboard instead of open air. So forget about smaller frames. Yes, unless we start to turn stuff upside down. It's time for me to show you what I created. I have designed a frame that is 30% smaller than a tiny whoop, including shrouds. It has a diagonal motor center to motor center distance of 45mm and a total size including shrouds of 70 by 70mm. Let's start with the mainframe itself. This particular version is designed to hold a tiny whoop mainboard, an all-in-one camera and video transmitter unit, 7 on 16mm motors and an Ishin style one cell LiPo battery. More about lipos in just a minute. Now let's start putting it together. For this example, I use an Alien Whoop Zero, which does pretty well in test flights. I only fly angle mode though, I never try Dakro. First, the camera and video transmitter unit is press fitted on its mount. It grabs the piece of PCB board where the base of the antenna is soldered on, while the top of the camera mount prevents the soldering joint of the antenna from breaking up after multiple crashes. The main board is mounted without screws. It snaps in place and stays there. I have decided to direct mount the battery connector to the board since my batteries have already wire on them. Now it's time to mount the motors, upside down. As we mount the motors inverted, the sense of rotation changes. Because of that, we have to mount clockwise motors where normally counterclockwise motors would be and vice versa. The motors are press fitted in their mounts. Three little overhangs on top of each motor mount prevent the motors from going too far in. All motors are now installed. You see where we are heading to? If you mount your motors inverted and far enough below the main board, the propellers will have enough room to suck in air, while having all open space they could want below them to trust it all out. With this setup, you can make your frame in a small size impossible to achieve on a normal setup, unless you get a smaller main board. Now the only limit would be the size of your propellers. Of course, you would not want them to be touching each other. Propellers are mounted top first onto the motors. My Ishim props did not need any modification. Other propellers might require a little drilling. For a push prop setup like this, you need to mount counterclockwise propellers on clockwise motors and vice versa. Only the motors get switched up, not the propellers. There we go. This can already fly if you want it to. It's great fun, but if you hit something regularly, you will have the mailman delivering new propellers to you every week. Let's make this build really complete now, by snapping on the shrouds. Really easy. These shrouds are specifically designed for 7 on 16 mm motors and will only fit those. The shrouds protect the propellers from impact. 
keep the motors from moving downward and they serve as a landing gear. The battery mount on this version of my creation has been designed to fit 240 to 260 milliamp Eshin style lipos. I use 240 milliamp batteries from my lipo. The batteries for the Eshin E013 would also be a perfect fit. The reason why I decided to not use regular 255 milliamp tiny whoop lipos is because they are simply too long. Looks rather ridiculous. Now let's connect the battery and we're ready for takeoff. Let me take you aboard for a little trip while finishing my presentation. Off we go then, enjoy the ride! Two versions of this frame design are available on Thingiverse. One version is a complete frame as shown in this video. When printed according to my recommendations, it will weigh about 4.5 grams, including shrouds, camera mount and battery mount. A list with compatible electronics as well as an in-depth manual are on my website www.foamdrones.be. The complete frame comes with a non-commercial, non-editing license. You may use the files to print the frame for yourself or your friends, but you may not change it. The second version is a barebone frame. This frame has no camera mount and no battery mount. This version is excellent for people who want to mount their camera on top, use an angle, use different batteries, etc. This frame design has a non-commercial license, but you are allowed to edit or remix it to fit your needs. With this, I hope to provide a solution to everybody who is eager to try out my creation. A frame version for 6mm motors is next on my to-do list and I will be working on that very soon. I believe that 6mm motors will be a better solution for indoor flight in tight spaces like a living room. But for now, allow me to take a little break. This thing made me sacrifice a lot of sleep. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy the rest of the flight.